Hello friends, good morning. In my previous lecture, I had explained phase to phase ball production of stator winding of the generator. Percentage differential relay that is also called as longitudinal differential production is used to protect the generator stator winding against phase to phase ball. It is also called as merge price protection. Today, I will discuss the protection against inter-turn faults. Now, first let us see why this percentage differential delay is not able to provide protection against phase to phase fault. Sorry, inter-turn faults. See, when we use percentage differential delay, one set of CT is on this side, one set of CT is on this side. When there is phase to phase fault, the differential current flows and delay trips. Now, in case of inter-turn fault, let us consider a phase winding. One CT is here, second CT is here. Now, inter-turn fault means few turns of the same winding, that is phase A winding, gets short circuited. So, the EMF induced in that particular phase will reduce. Obviously, the current will, in, will also reduce. But this reduced current will flow through this side of CT as well as this side of CT. So, differential current will be zero. There is no current difference in the CT on both the sides of the winding. So, differential current is zero. Therefore, percentage differential delay that is mass price production also called as longitudinal differential production is not able to provide the protection against inter-turn fault. We have to use some separate scheme. So, first I will discuss the scheme with open delta secondary of potential transformer. This type of protection against inter-turn fault is used irrespective of number of layers in the winding. It can be single layer winding or double layer winding. In the present case, I have shown a single layer winding for the generator. Phase A winding, phase B winding, phase C winding. Induced voltages are VA, VB and VC. This is neutral point. It is grounded through register. We are using a potential transformer which is connected in a star. Secondary is delta, but this delta is open. And you can see here, this neutral point of this star connection or star point is connected to the star point of this alternator or, or generator. So, if we consider voltage VA, it will be measured from this A phase. It, it will be measured between A phase and the neutral point. VB is the voltage measured between B phase and the neutral winding. Similarly, VC is measured between C phase and the neutral winding. Now, this is open delta. So, across this, let us denote this voltage by V residual. It will be VA plus VB plus VC. So, under balance condition, that is when there is no fault, VA plus VB plus VC will be zero. That is normal condition or healthy condition. Across this open delta, we are connecting an over voltage relay, that is relay R. Now, when internal fault is there, let us say in phase A, few turns of the winding get short circuited. So, the induced EMF in this phase of the winding, because induced EMF equation is phi Z N P by 60 A. Phi Z N P A by 60 A. So, induced EMF here will reduce. So, VA plus VB plus VC, that will no longer will be 0 and we get some voltage across this open delta and if this voltage is higher than the pickup value of this over voltage delay, then the relay trip, then the relay trips. So, this type of scheme using star open delta transformer is useful for single layer as well as double layer winding. Now, here you must remember the difference between the connection. Here, the star point of this primary side is connected to the star point of this alternator. If in place of connecting this point here, we just ground this point. So, this voltage measure will be VA, that will be between phase A and ground. VB will be between phase B and ground. VC will be between phase C and ground. So, that is different than voltage measure between this point and the neutral point. Now, let us see Another scheme which is used for double layer winding of the stator for inter fault. 
That scheme is called as cross differential protection scheme. It is used for inter-turn fault in double layer or multi layer winding of the transform uh, of the generator. Now I will explain the cross differential protection that is also called as transverse differential protection for the inter-turn fault in case of double layer winding. So here let us take the A phase, B phase, C phase. So in all these phases I have shown double layer winding. So if current is IA in phase A, then IA by 2 will flow through this winding. IA by 2 will flow through this winding. Similarly, this is for IB, IB by 2, IB by 2, IC by 2 and IC by 2. Here I have shown the differential protection scheme, cross differential protection scheme for phase A only. Same scheme will be there for phase B as well as for phase C. This is enlarged view to get better idea. So here it is one set, one city, second city. Dot mark. So this is representing secondary of the city. So dot mark represents current living, dot mark represents current living. So current say I1, I2, I1 in normal condition is IA by 2, I2 is also IA by 2. So current I1 and this is I2, that is relay current is I1 minus I2, that will be 0 under normal condition. Now let us say 1000 MPF is the current in phase A. So in normal condition through this winding it will be 500, this will also be 500. Let us say we are using CT of 500 by 5 ratio. So, this will be 500 by 5 means 5 ampere. This will be 500 by 5 means 5 ampere. So, net current will be 0. Now, suppose there is inter-turn fault like this. Some portion of the winding gets bypassed. Or let us say it is in this part. For convenience, let us say it is in this part. So, this part of the winding number of turns will be bypassed. So, induced DMF in this part of the winding will be less. Let us say this current remains 500 and due to reduce EMF, this current becomes 400. So, here current will be 500 by 5. So, it is 5 ampere. This current, let us say it is 400. So, I2 will be 4 amperes. So, net current through the relay will be 1 ampere and relay trips. Now, in this scheme, we are using the CTs in the different layers of the winding. If it is normal differential protection scheme, that is mass price protection or percentage differential delay, one set of CT will be here, one set of CT will be here. So, if we consider phase A, one CT will be here, one CT will be here. So, total current after this internal fault will be 900 MPS in phase A. So, it will be 900 entering from this side, 900 leaving from this side. So, current in both sides of the CT will be same and differential current will be zero. Therefore, the merge price protection that is percentage differential delay is not able to detect internal fault. For internal fault, we need cross differential protection or protection by using star delta open type of transformer and that will detect the internal fault in both the cases that is single layer winding as well as double layer winding. But if we are having if you want to use cross differential protection, it should be double layer winding. For single layer winding, it is star open delta transformer. So, this is all about internal faults of the stator winding in the generator and corresponding protection. Friends, if you feel this video lecture useful, then please like it, subscribe to my channel, ask your friends, colleagues and your juniors to subscribe to my channel for upcoming video lectures on high voltage engineering and power system protection. If you want to make effective and efficient use of time, then read my book on time management. The link for the book is given in the description box. I have launched a useful course for the students on Udemy. The title of the course is Boost Your Learning and Become Top Achiever. This course is very useful for the students who are preparing for entrance as, as well as competitive exams. The link for the course is also given in the description box. Thank you.